all you cool cats and kittens. It's Carol Baskin. So today, we're going to learn about the Cold War. Really, just the beginning of it. So Truman and Eisenhower. So Truman was the president after Roosevelt died. He had his own vision of what foreign policy should be after World War II ended. The Polish government moved to England to escape the Nazis during the war. This government was backed by the United States. The communists are going to take over Poland after the war ended. Pro-Soviet communist coups had also taken place in Hungary and Czechoslovakia within two years of the war ending. In 1947, communist insurgents threatened to, to take over Greece and Turkey. England could no longer support them or help them. Truman asked Congress for $400 million to take over Greece and Turkey and help. This is called the Truman Doctrine, which is later going to be called containment. Containment came from George Kinnan. Kinnan? I'm going to have to redo this one. I need to learn how to edit. I'm going to go with it. George Kinnan and the long telegram that Kinnan sent to Washington from his duty station in Germany in 1946. This policy basically said that the United States wouldn't instigate the Soviets in a war, but would defend other countries in danger of Soviet takeover. They wanted to stop the spread of communism. They were trying to fight us. Truman Doctrine from the long telegram that Canaan sent to Washington while he was stationed in Germany. So the United States started using money to keep away the commies in the countries that were in threat of being taken over by the Soviet Union. The Marshall Plan, named for the Secretary of State at the time, sent more than $12 billion to Europe to help rebuild its city, cities, and economy. Countries had to work together to promote economic growth, and it's a precursor to the EU. No countries in the Soviet Union wanted anything to do with U.S. handouts. U.S. created a mutual defense alliance with Canada and other countries in Western Europe called the North Atlantic Treaty Association, oh, nope, not association, it's organization, it's NATO, uh, in 1949. Uh, it was hard to convince Congress because Congress didn't want the United States to be tangled up in foreign problems. Berlin. Berlin was divided into four sections. The West is going to be under the control of England, France, and the United States, and the East is going to be under control of the USSR. The Soviets are going to be pissed when Western allies plan to merge, so they impose a blockade on Berlin. Don't get this confused with the Berlin Wall, that's later. Truman refused to surrender the city and ordered airlifts to be um, put into place to supply the western portion of Berlin. This is called the Berlin Blockade. Now the Berlin Wall is going to be erected in 1961 during Kennedy administration. National Security Council and Central Intelligence Agencies were created after the Soviets detonated their first atomic bombs. National Security Council was a document, National Security Council 68 was a document that said that the United States should invest more money into military spending because 
They couldn't trust other countries to help protect them against communism. Asia. Our focus was reconstructing Japan after we nuked them twice. United States occupied Japan and uh, colonial possessions were divided. The United States got the Pacific Islands and the southern half of Korea and the Soviets got North Korea. Douglas MacArthur was placed to help Japan write a democratic constitution and he also started to help with their economic revival. The Chinese Revolution was occurring during this time. Mao Zedong, who was a communist, was going against, uh, and I'm going to butcher this name, I'm apologizing ahead of time, Chiang Kai-shek's nationalist government that the United States backed. China had a 20-year civil war, and Mao took control of China by 1949. The United States threw money at China to overthrow the communists, but were unsuccessful. The communists overthrew the nationalists whose government was exiled to Taiwan. Truman refused to acknowledge Mao's regime, which created an international hotspot for Americans. He also sent aid to the French during the Vietnamese War for Independence in Indochina. Hint, hint, this might have something to do with the Vietnam War in the future.